Chizayon, Revelation 11. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood, saying, Rise, and measure the temple of Yahweh, and the altar, and them that worship therein. But the court which is without the temple, leave out, and measure it not. For it is given unto the other nations, and the holy city shall they tread under foot forty and two months. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two menorah standing before the Yah of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceeds out of their mouth and devours their enemies. And if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. These have power to shut heaven, that it rain not in the days of their prophecy, and have power over waters to turn them to blood, and to smite the earth with all plagues, as often as they will. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascends out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them, and shall overcome them, and kill them. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Chedam and Mitzrayim, where also our Adonai was crucified. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them, and make merry, and shall send gifts one to another, because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. And after three days and a half, the Ruach Chaim from Yahuwah entered into them, and they stood upon their feet. And great fear fell upon them which saw them. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. And the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell. And in the earthquake were slain of men seven thousand. And the remnant were frightened and gave glory to the Yah of heaven. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe comes quickly. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Adonai and of his Mashiach, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the four and twenty elders, which sat before Yahweh on their seats, fell upon their faces and worshipped Yah, saying, We give you thanks, O Yahweh, Elohim Sevaoth, which are and was and are to come, because you have taken to your great power and have reigned. And the nations were angry, and your wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that you should give reward unto your servants, the prophets, and to the Kodeshim, and them that fear your name, small and great, and should destroy them which destroy the earth, and the temple of Yahuwah was opened in heaven, and there was seen in his temple the ark of his covenant, and there were lightnings and voices and thunderings and an earthquake and great hail.